Welcome to Night in the Woods. This is an adventure game that I've heard extraordinarily good things about, so let's jump right into it. In the year Grandad died. So I get a choice here, the highway extension game, or we had the worst flood since 1998. We had the worst flood since 1998. Greg got trapped on top of a doghouse. The power was out for two days. Casey Hartley came by in his dad's boat, and I laughed when I saw him. Grandad left me an apple crate of books. He loved ghost stories, and quoted them to himself in the hospital bed. They feared death, so they ate the young. On his last day, he sat up suddenly and stared bug-eyed through the window. At the old empty mill, windows half busted out, he turned to my dad, eyes still wide. This house is haunted, he said, and died. Well, this is great. I mean, I didn't expect a party or anything, but I figured someone would be here. Welcome home, May. Alright, so I have not heard all that much about this game other than it's really, really good, but I didn't really read any uh, super detailed reviews of it or anything. I haven't played it before other than just a couple minutes that I just spent getting used to the controls and checking settings. And as far as I played, it was right here, and I spent a couple minutes just jumping back and forth. Because it is so satisfying! I have a lot to talk about, even though all I've done is just jump, jump across a couple benches. Okay, a couple things. One, this game is gorgeous. Like, it's just beautiful. Everything is perfectly stylized and wonderfully clean and just really good looking, and also everything is animated super well, too. Like, look what happens when May turns around. They don't just like instantly start looking the other way. There's actually like a transition animation. It looks super good. And I, I don't know if like platforming is or, or jumping around things is really a big part of this game or not. I have no idea. But the jumping feels fantastic. It's like super responsive. Uh, there's a nice, not just, not just a good visual feedback from it. But, like the little bits of dust on the ground and stuff, but also I'm using a controller to play this, and every time May hits the ground from like any sort of a significant distance, uh, there's actually a little bit of a controller rumble. So I'm just getting like lots of little rumbles every time I land on the ground when I'm doing this. It feels so nice. <gasps> okay, anyway, let's, let's play the game. <laughs> Historic Possum Springs, established 1795. Wow, where did they put this up? Blossom Springs has never looked more... falsely advertised. Must be such a relief to payphone companies that Blossom Springs gets zero cell reception. Be cool to call my parents, but some jerkle took the time to actually rip it off. Who steals a phone? I know, right? Like, why do people cut them? The few very rare times that I've actually seen a payphone out in public. It's it's like always been cut off. Why would somebody cut it off? It's, it's not valuable, is it? Fiasco Fox, you're too dreamy. <laughs> Fiasco Fox. Welcome back to Garbo and Malloy. What's in the news today, Malloy? Markets were up today. Way up! Do people just clap because of that? I'm looking at a chart and it's pretty impressive. The economy added 15,000 jobs. Mostly in the chart sector. <laughs> Which is notoriously recession proof. Okay, I'm good.
Uh, excuse me, but where is everybody? It's 10.45. It's closed. Not a lot of folks getting off the last bus to Possum Springs these days. Just you? Isn't there supposed to be someone at the desk? Closed. Why are the lights on? Why is the TV on? I get spooked when I'm here by my lonesome. Oh. Fair enough. Um. Excuse me, but could I get past you to the exit? Can I squeeze past you? Nope. Just broke the damn thing. When do you think it might be done? Right after you go grab me up. Fiascola from the, from the machine. Fiascola. Am I paying for this? I always rig it when I'm here after hours. Nice. Free as in free. Free as in no one's here to say otherwise. Cool. What the? They have lime fiasco, and he wants a fiascola. That's just a waste. Okay, just gotta grab it. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. I can actually move May's paw around? <laughs> that is too cute. Oh, I love that. One fresh frescola. Uh okay. Yummers. So what are you doing here? I live here. Well, lived here. Huh. Strange. When do you think that door's gonna be finished? Now. Goodbye. Uh, bye. Can I nab myself an extra drink? It's rigged. It's still rigged, isn't it? Ah. Whoa. Did I just do a high jump? How did I jump so high? I don't know how I jumped so high that one time. This game is freaking gorgeous. What a beautiful art style. I'm not walking back out to the highway. Probably get hit by a car or something. Hey, where did that janitor go? Did he walk? it again. I love that noise. It seems like if you jump three times, it happens on the third jump, like one, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, only if you're moving. One, two, three. Maybe you have to just move for a while and then jump? No, it definitely happens with three. Huh. Oh, fireflies. Hey, friends. Well, right outside town. Mom and Dad, nowhere to be found. Dark and cold. Guess I'm walking. Alone. Well, not totally alone. We got the fireflies. This bus station is maybe the newest thing in Possum Springs. Guess they got state funding or something. Makes a good first or last impression, I suppose. If not for the abandoned glass factory back there. Not getting rid of that anytime soon. So cool. You can move around the leaves too.
Wow. I didn't realize how much I missed the sound of that train. I used to hear it in my bed at night. During the winter when the leaves were down. Oh, I've got more fireflies with me. Well, guess I'm gonna hike through the woods. Through the woods is home. My bed. And my negligent parents. This is how you hike through the woods? This town is dangerous. Ugh. This is some dank nature. Dank nature and garbage. There used to be an old sawmill around here, I think. I mean, the park up there is called Sawmill Park. Looks like they lost a log load at some point. <sighs> have to climb this, I guess. Hmm, so maybe like platforming is significant. Maybe this is like a little sort of tutorial for climbing things. Ooh! It's got physics! Oh, that is cool. I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh my god. That was dangerous. I could have died. That was amazing. I'm not gonna die in this hole. Did I have to do that? I don't know. I was just doing it for fun. Murph. I don't know what they were going for here. Some sort of boat castle? Most of it's gone now. It's just a thing for weird animals to eat and have babies in. Ahoy! Looks like the ladder's gone. If I could just get to the top of this thing. Ah. <sighs> I could never make it up onto that tree when I was a kid. The number logs mocked me. The logs and the other kids. <laughs> Let me see if I can visualize this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can't stop running while I do this, not even for a second. Gotta have enough momentum. I think I can do it. Run and jump, jump, jump. Okay, so yeah, it's a little tutorial, basically forces you to do the jump 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 thing that I actually somehow figured out before actually being introduced to it. So jump. J oh, cool. It's only been two years since I lived here. Not in this playground. Uh, Possum Springs, I mean. This is all getting jumbled. I should write it down. Rest in peace, Granddad. Little happy squid saying, Your parents forgot you! Is there falling damage? Like, if I just jump down here, am I fine? Oh! I can walk on this? Okay. Hmm. Oh my god, that is amazing. As you walk across it, it makes little, like, plinking string noises. Oof. Hello, May. Been a while. <laughs> what a way to meet me again. Hey, what are you doing out here? Nothing better to do? 
was out here doing my rounds and I saw you in the very off-limits playground. So? Get in the car, May. No. You want to spend your first night back in jail, May? No. Hey, remember me? <laughs> ah! May, you gave me a heart attack. Good. What are you doing? Oh. May, honey, we thought you were coming tomorrow night. You thought wrong. How did you get here? I walked until I got arrested. By Aunt Mallcop. Oh, did you say hi to Molly for me? No. I say hi for no one. F the cops. I'm going to bed. Is my bed still here? Or are we waiting for tomorrow night for that too? Ah, May. So good to hear that voice again. Good night. New journal entry. Dad. Looks older? Question mark. <laughs> I mean... It's been two years. So much cat stuff. Cats. We're a family of cats. We have a cat clock on the wall and a cat calendar. Bless this mess. Did I mention it feels good to walk? And jump. Like, I'm probably just going to be jumping everywhere. Because it feels and looks fantastic. Well, a little bird nightlight. There are a few things hanging around in here from the old country. This clock. The trunk in the storage room. And whatever is buried under the house after the cement incident. So is that... Is that little May in the center there? Well, I can go in that room, so it's probably my room. So what's up here? Oh, no, never mind. That's my room up there. Then what's this? Since when is the crawl space all jammed up? Wonder if Dad could move them. Can I go just ask him? No, I think I just need to go to sleep first. It's been a long day. Play some bass? But which song? Later, Space Dragon. Space Dragon? Wanderer in space. Nomad of Forbidden Place. <laughs> Wait, is this a minigame? Whoa! Ah! This 
This is... I'm, I am not used to playing rhythm games. Eh, I'm terrible at this abort. That is something I really want to get good at, though. Let me practice that a little bit. Okay, okay, I can actually play this a lot easier if I play it with the keyboard. Um, if you just start typing on the keyboard, it switches from the controller controls to the keyboard. And it's way better, I can use the number keys 1 through 4. So I can have one finger on each number left to right. So like it, so physically it like matches up more with what they're showing that's coming down on the, the bass guitar. Wait, no, what? That's enough bass for one day? Ah. <sighs> Oh no, I want, what, yeah, I want, ah, uh, okay. I guess I'll just edit in the clip of, of me practicing a bit or something. That is an amazing game, I want to, I want to play it. A game within a game. I was so cute then. We were all so cute then. Cuties, the lot of us. We could have a traveling show. The cute Borowskis. Is that the family name? May Borowski? How is this bird still alive? Whoa. That's... Interesting. So just like walking on, like a, well basically a tightrope, walking on the power lines before. It's like this trying to keep my balance kind of animation where you walk slowly and May does what they're doing right now but it also does it for up here. I wonder why. I guess just because it's sort of small. It was pretty great when Granddad gave me that apple crate of old scary stories. Not sure how they ended up out here. Death comes to Wigglesbury. The fancy corpse. Hell Mole Stevenson. Necropus Book the First. Lady Shark. The Stoat on Gallows Hill. Heck yeah! I knew I could do it. This thing goes off randomly every month or so. Little wooden duck pops out. Makes the weirdest sound. Scares Dad half to death every time. Used to joke it was Granddad getting even with him from beyond the grave. Honey? Yeah? Come see me in the kitchen before you leave. Okay. Hi, Mom. Welcome home, sweetie. Thanks for not changing the locks. Sorry we mixed up the day you were coming back. It was such short notice. It's okay, Mom. May, honey? Yeah? Is everything okay? That was interesting. Um, so this isn't obvious to you since you're not holding the controller. I should probably explain. Um, when my dialogue option came up to respond to that, the controller rumbled for a second. Like this really quick, just like, thump. I wonder if that's supposed to be what May's feeling, right? Like, like they're nervous, scared, like, ah, I don't want to talk about it or, you know, I don't want to have this conversation. What do you mean? Honey, did something happen? I just needed to come home. Well, sweetie, I think you can understand my worry. It's not usually something a college sophomore just up and does. I know. Honey, you can tell me if something happened. Mom, I'm fine. Really. Can we talk about this another time? Sure, honey. It's okay. 
Thanks, Mom. I bet you your old friends will be happy to see you. You wouldn't happen to know where Greg is, would you? Oh yeah, Greg's working down at the Snack Falcon. Up in the town center west. Uh, town center west by the Click Clack. Hmm, there's another thump in the controller this time. We have a Snack Falcon now? Oh yeah, it's so handy. You know, ever since the food donkey went out. <laughs> Snack Falcon food donkey? The food donkey's gone? Oh yeah, going on almost a year now. Wow, where does everybody shop? Everyone goes out to the Ham Panther out by the highway now. <laughs> what are these names, Ham Panther? These are amazing. But I see your little friend Greg when I go into town. Wow, the food donkey's gone. We have a snack falcon. It's a whole new world, sweetie. Yes, it is. Well, have a good time out there. Lots to explore. See what's changed. I will. Just watch out for all the construction. Well, it wouldn't be fall in Possum Springs without loads of construction. It's so festive, honey. I'll be back later. Bye, sweetie. Part 1, Home Again. Oof! Squirrel! I want to jump up there and find it. There's so much life here, oh my god. This is so cool. Sadly though, I think I should probably end the episode here. Look at that little squirrel. Oh, you can jump on that. Well, hello. Okay, no, stop. Stop playing. Stop playing. Oh, actually. One second. I need to answer a question for myself here. Okay, so that's how that works. If you're on something like this and you want to drop down, like if you just press the jump button, then of course you just jump up. But if you aim down, like if I press move down and then press the jump button, you actually fall through it. So, we can very elegantly do this. Oh, I thought it would fall flat. Oh well. Alright, so, I think I'll end this episode here. Yeah, this is freaking amazing so far. Oh my god, it's... It's gorgeous, it's funny, it feels amazing to play. I cannot wait to play bass again. I just want to go to sleep and just finish that song. I wonder if you get a score when you finish it or what. And the fact that it allows you to select what song you want to play, even though I could only select one, that implies to me that I'll probably be able to like learn more songs in later days or something. I don't know if they're unlockables or if it just kind of happens naturally, like every day you get a new song or something. Who knows, but I really want to do that. Okay, uh, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.